Chapter 1. The Alternatives Model Dreams Don't Come True Quote, Variability is the world's most fundamental quality. End quote. Vadim Zeeland Everything already exists. Everything. This is the fundamental premise that reality creation rests upon. It's very difficult to dispute because the most fundamental quality of reality is that we all experience the world differently through our own awareness, so our experience is completely unique and only one interpretation of infinite. It might sound straightforward, but the implications are not possible for the mind to grasp. Infinity is a mathematical truth. Therefore, everything already exists. What does this mean for you? It means that truly anything is possible, that you can do whatever you like, that you can live the life of your dreams or your nightmares. It's up to you to choose. Let's begin to open up this idea of choosing. It sounds simple enough, but there's quite a bit to unpack. In the introduction of Reality Transurfing, Vadim Zeeland becomes aware in a dream and meets a figure who is the overseer of a beautiful village. Vadim admires the village and the way people live there while complaining about his own life and resenting his own existence. As he begins to express his dissatisfaction with the world he lives in, the overseer tells him he could live in the village as well. All he would have to do is choose. He then wakes up from the dream with the word transurfing in his head, not understanding what it means, but knowing that it is the method of choosing the overseer is describing. Vadim goes on to explain that his life has changed from one of negativity and mental anguish into one of joy and bliss. He wakes up from the nightmare of his old life and describes his new one, which is a much more enjoyable version of his previous existence. He goes on to explain that he had learned to choose his reality via transurfing and that the principles are tried, tested, and true. He explains that he has shifted from one reality where he was a disillusioned, grumpy chain smoker into a reality where his day is full of joy and brightness, all by following the principles outlined in Transurfing. He explains to us that he has learned to choose. The rest of the book is an exploration into the techniques and principles which go into choosing, illuminating step by step exactly how to go from a life of drab distaste into one which is harmonious and fulfilling simply by choosing the reality that is most satisfying to us. It might sound fanciful, outrageous, or silly, but that is entirely because those are the parameters we have previously chosen. Reality, in fact, Vadim explains, reflects the image we project onto it. From a scientific point of view, this idea is very difficult to argue with, and the rest of the book is an exploration into how we can get from where we are now to where we'd like to be. The first principle that we must understand in order to choose is that infinity is the beginning of all that exists. That is the basis of the model which allows us to form our choices and get exactly what we want. Vadim says that any model of the universe represents just one manifestation of reality, which demonstrates why there has yet to be a model of everything. It's impossible to pin down anything which has an infinite number of forms. From a quantum view, the observer influences the experiment. Therefore, it has whatever outcome that it is being tested for. Reality refuses to put itself into a box as it is essentially playing hide and go seek with us. We are limited, but reality is not. Vadim uses the example of three blind men touching an elephant in different places. One thinks that they are exploring a snake, another a tree trunk, and yet another a wall. 
None of them are correct in identifying the elephant, but they are all correct in identifying their own experience. This is the beginning of understanding how we experience and influence reality. The model continues to be outlined by defining the variety of options that exist in infinity by explaining that there is an informational field where all the data is stored, like a cloud or a space of alternatives which every variation exists. We are choosing from this space which contains all that was, is, or ever will be. And understanding how to choose gives us the ability to create the world we truly desire, the material reflection of our dreams. As outrageous as this may sound to the mind, which cannot possibly comprehend infinity, some part of us resonates and feels the truth of this observation. We might have some resistance to the initial premise, as did Vadim in his dream with the overseer, but as we begin to unpack the scientific principles which underlie the theory, we start to see the proof of these statements, which settles the mind and gives us the opportunity to influence reality consciously. Something we all desire is to have control of reality, but it's as elusive as a phantom for most of us because we are attempting to control it from the outside in. The universe is mental, infinite, and control over reality begins in the mind. We have to learn to play with these principles and begin to see that we have been creating reality for ourselves this whole time. We just didn't know how we were doing it. Our entire lives, we were choosing from a variety of alternate realities by the way we have been interacting with the world, by how we choose to use our minds. Once we can get a glimpse into the nuance of these principles at work mentally and emotionally within us, we can begin to recreate the world of our own choosing intentionally from the infinite amount of options which exist. The way we move through reality is determined by us, as every organism is contributing to the creation of material realization. That means each and every one of us is affecting the reality that we experience at all times. Whether we are aware of it or not, this is the impact each and every one of us have on the world. We either choose to use it for our own benefit or disadvantage. Our choice is always realized based on the energy we broadcast with our thoughts and emotions. The radiation of thought energy is what manifests any particular alternative. The more thoughts that radiate at a certain frequency, the greater the likelihood that alternative will materialize in the physical world. Vadim uses an analogy of a water pipe that is freezing. And as water moves through it, certain parts of the water crystallize into ice formations as others remain water. This illustration demonstrates how alternates of infinity become material reality. He then explains that by using the principles of transurfing, we don't have to fight for our goal. We don't have to tussle and scrap to get the reality we wish to have. We simply have to choose an alternative that is more to our liking to crystallize the water molecules we wish to freeze from the flow of water in the pipe. <laughs>